sometimes students get confused uh, whether the given thing is a subset of a given set or that is just a member of that set so after watching this video I think uh, you'll be able to distinguish whether given things just like here we have got something in the first time and we need to see whether that's just a subset of that set or it's just a normal member of that set or just an element of that set so after watching this video you'll be able to distinguish these two things what is member and what is subset you'll be properly understanding the concept behind this so let's go and let's walk out uh, I hope you have already the good concept of uh, members what is members of a set and what is subset of a set so here I have got a set in which there are members uh, one two is another member and this is looking like a set but it's not a set right in this condition this is just a member of the set A. Yes, it is set. You can say 3, 4 is a set. But here, in this case now, this uh, inside the curly bracket 3 and 4, this 2 member having set is a member of A. All right? And 5 is another set. So altogether here we have 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 members we have in the set A. And uh, which of the following statements are incorrect and why? We need to say which one is correct and which one... Uh, which one is incorrect uh, among these all and we need to give the proper reason for that so let's go one by one here as we're discussing here this 3 comma 4 is the member of this uh, of the set a not the subset you know uh, to become a subset uh, well let me tell you one thing suppose uh, I have a set u suppose in which uh, there is one two and three there are three members okay and if A is a subset suppose and in which there is member 1 and 2 so here I can say that A is subset of U right but I can I can't write that 1 and 2 right 1 and 2 is uh, is the member of U I can't say this this is not the member but I can say 1 and 2 is subset of U right this is correct but this is not correct all right similarly i can say one is member uh, is member of set u similarly i can say two is member of u but i cannot write like this like now th now this is defining as a uh, as a, as a as a set all right so since it is set so it should be subset it's not a member like if i'm writing like this now uh, 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 one uh, by closing by two bra curly bracket now this behaves as a set and set uh, this cannot be the member of the universal set or in any set that I have uh, supposed here u it cannot be but yes I can write one is subset of u that's perfect right but I cannot write like this it's it's not similarly here I cannot write uh, that two say this set is member of u but i can say that 2 is the subset of u i hope you got some some good concept so you should know what is members and what is subset you know so members cannot be the subset but subset can be the member keep in mind members cannot be the subset like see here this members cannot be behave as a subset but yes subsets sometimes can behave as a member like in this u if we have another uh, member uh, instead of this let me cut this and let me write here uh, 5 is the member and another bracket I'm putting so now I have four uh, four members 1 2 3 and inside the curly bracket just like this inside the curly bracket 5 by 2 have so now see this 5 is a member of you right 5 if I'm writing subset of u, then I'm again wrong. I cannot write like this. This is not the subset. But yes, this is a member. And if I'm putting the curly bracket now, this become a set. So this this new set formed is yes, subset of u. This is right. Clear this this thing you need to clear out. All right. So here three four is a member of the set. All right. Not the yes subset. So this is wrong. And what is the reason? Because this is a member, not the subset. And here, three four belongs to A, means is the member of A. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Three four is the member. And again, 
free for this just this is the member but when I put the curly bracket just like here when I put extra curly bracket here now this become a new set a new set can be the uh, like the you have member and if you put the curly bracket then becomes that becomes new shade and that new shade becomes the subset of the original set so here it is yes that's right and now one belongs to a yes one is a member of a so one definitely belongs to a similarly one is the subset of a no I can't write like this here as I think I told you one uh, yes one is the member of you and if I'm writing uh, uh, if I'm writing one I think I must have stated somewhere uh, anyways if I'm just writing one as the here also as just a subset of you then I cannot write this one is not the subset of you one is the member of you alright so here also one is not the subset of a one is the member of a alright but the same thing if you want to write then you can write like this one is the subset of a this is right alright one is the subset not uh, uh, this one after putting the curly bracket it is subset alright so just the element cannot be behave as a, uh, as a member Alright, if you want to write, then you can write in this way. Uh, if you want to write uh, like this, just not putting the curly bracket here. Now, one, two, five is the subset of A. Yes, one, two, and five is the subset of A. That's right. Alright, and another one is one, two, and five is the member of A. It's not a member; it's a subset. Alright, this one is right. It's not right. It's a. I told you this is a member. This is. We don't have in a in a set A in a set A we don't have any member uh, 1 to 5 having any any set having 1 to 5 we don't have so it's 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 not a member it's it's just a uh, it's just a sub it's a, another set inside a big set A you can say you can behave in that way right now 1 2 3 okay 1 2 3 is the subset of A no 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 1 is okay 2 is okay but where, what about this 3 3 is inside the curly bracket of three uh, inside this curly bracket three and four this complete you know this completely together behave as one member this is one member completely together all right so you cannot cut, uh, cut like you cannot break the curly bracket here that we had initially we had here curly bracket uh, curly bracket you cannot break that curly bracket and take the element out and then you make a new set and then you say that the new set is the subset of A. You cannot do like that. It's not. Alright. And the phi is the member of A. No, it's not the phi. Uh, phi is not the member. Because we have we have only four members here. One is our member, two is our member, and in the bracket three, four is third member, and uh, this single five is the fourth member. We don't have any phi. If if there was like this five, then we might have said, yeah, this is a member. So no, it's not. It's just a it's a subset you can say uh, in yeah this is right this is what I want to say uh, I had told you that every set you know uh, phi is the is the subset of it's not not the member is the subset of every set every set any set you have you can say phi is the subset of that set all right and uh, another one yes phi and putting the curly bracket no since this is not a member how can you make a set from that you cannot make you can make the set stating that is uh, that is a subset of uh, of a only when this inside that curly bracket is a member of that set it should be member you know it should be a member but we don't have we don't have that phi is not the member i already told you there so what we can say this is again wrong all right and you got the reason because phi is not the member I hope you understand this what exactly this means uh, and uh, hope you can distinguish between the member and the subset and uh, keep in mind that member and subset subset can be the members but members cannot be subset to make the members subset you need to put the curly bracket from both sides you need to close inside the curly brackets and then you can say that the member formed new set is the subset of the given set just like here just like here we had get a all right we had got a so if there is any confusion or any problem uh, while understanding my explanations then please feel free to comment just below this video if you like my videos you can like and you can subscribe our channel I'll be really happy I really appreciate that 
Catch you in the next video. Goodbye.